to play in front of my friends and my family the last time, which is sad, but all good things come to an end. Um, just knowing that it's going to be here at Ryerson just says a lot because Rana promised it. He said we were working on having the final eight at the max, so just being playing in front of my mother and my father for like the last time really is, is really important to me. As a whole, I enjoyed the experience, but just not being able to win it all won't be a great ending at all. Just getting there is not good enough for us, especially not for me. Five years is a long time. Can't waste this opportunity. Since my first year, I was just very stubborn. I was hard to, I wasn't coach. I wasn't the best player when it came to being coached. I was very defensive minded. When I, when I coached around, I told me I was one of the, probably the hardest coach players I've ever had to coach. A lot of times when the young guys come in, they're intimidated by me because I've been told I'm not the most approachable person. As we get going and the season goes on, guys follow my habits, get in the weight room and mimic a lot of things that I do. But when they really get to know who I am, I'm serious about my craft and serious about being better. So I guess they start to look up to me a lot. I look up to me a lot after. We just need to improve on playing hard for 40 minutes, being in tune defensively and offensively. We gotta share the ball, be unselfish because we have a lot of great talent. We know one man's not gonna win the final eight. It's not how it works. We're playing against arguably the eight best teams in the country, but we know it's gonna be an effort, all about hard work and effort, 40 minutes of hard work, especially all together. And I gotta hope that I come ready to play because the impact that I leave on the game will help us win. There's a lot of pressure because everybody that you always told to come watch you play is gonna come watch you play, so you gotta be at your best. Tournament in Toronto to in front of your own family, in your city, uh, in your school. I mean, there's just so many uh, exciting and relevant pieces to it that's, that's unique. And for a player, I mean, you know, the, most players never get this opportunity in their career. And to be able to do that in, on your home court is going to be special. I mean, he's just, uh, you know, he's unique. His, his speed and quickness is very different. Um, and I think what what's probably separates him from so many guys is his, his preparation and his mental skills are very strong. He's, he's an elite athlete, there's no question about that. He's a high performance athlete, whatever you want to call it. Um, and he's a great example for everybody else on our team. So he's been hugely impactful, not just on the court, but off of it as well. Now that we're here in front of classmates, other fellow athletes of Ryerson, it's just that it means that much more. If we're not holding the national championship trophy, it wasn't the perfect way to end.